then I ain't drinking. Get sure it's like skins, my rips always stinking. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is the Sarge Change here again. Salute. Another liquor video collection. <clears throat> um, I just came back from Vegas. Uh, I was able to grab a, a couple of uh, new bottles for my collection. And um, upon returning home, <laughs> I got these other gifts um, from somebody. Um, they're not really the sizes that I get, like I said before, anything that's a fifth, you know, I, I drink it. Um, however, I don't think I'll be drinking these. Um, I've never seen anything like them, um, except for, um, well, yeah, I've never seen anything like them. I mean, I already know, and you've already heard me speak about it. Um, I'm only collecting pint bottle sizes. Um... But this is for basically, um, you see him right there. I know you can, can't really see the face, or maybe you can. It's Snoop Dogg. And um, if you notice also, uh, next to that is basically that blue bottle. Blue bottle is also Snoop Dogg. Um, and that is basically his uh, gin. And um, it's a very unique gin, and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but what I really want to show is basically the pint bottles that I found uh, to add to my collection. And uh, of course, upon getting this gift of Snoop Dogg and uh, uh, whatever that kangaroo, I don't know where that came from, I've never even heard of it. Um, I gotta get the other ones, like I said, uh, I still want to get uh, the Rocks Tequila, um, if it's in a pint size, you know what I mean, and definitely Forty Water, you know, he, he's done a lot of uh, groundbreaking things when it comes to the, the uh, alcohol business, um, and of course, you know, we would say, uh, of course, the Rock paid the way for that, you know, to put, you know, you know, give these guys, um, besides other actors and stuff and entertainers that, you know, decided to say, hey, you know what, why don't we get in this, because I know also, um, I don't know, if, I don't want to beat up his name, but, uh, so I'm not going to beat up his last name here, but Jensen, uh, from the Supernatural, uh, stories, he also has a beer, uh, like, restaurant or something, which I know right now with the COVID and stuff, it all sucks, because we can't really go out there and party and enjoy ourselves with each other like we, you know, used to, um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. But the main thing is basically, you know, I've got, <laughs> I've got to get the other bottles now, even though they're fifth. You know, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get them because you don't know when you'll see those things again. You know what I mean? You don't know how long they last. I do, of course, wish everybody success, but you know what I mean. You never know. Even with these these liquor companies that've been in this business for a long time. Um, they can go out of business, so um, and you might not never see them again. And you know, there you go. You got a rare piece of uh, history. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start with what I got first, okay? And um, the first one that I got was this uh, Hendrix, and uh, this Hendrix is a gin. Like I said, I'm trying to add more gin to my collection. Okay, um, and this gin is actually from Scotland, so this is a Scottish gin, uh, not really English gin, even though it's from the same country, you know, United Kingdom, but it's actually a difference, okay, uh, between the Scottish, Irish, and the English, in a way, and, and not in the fact that they're different, but you know, they just, the part of the region from the United Kingdom that they come from, so this is a Scottish, a Scottish gin, and for those that don't know, Scot Scotland would be uh, north of England, uh, the upper part, um, and this is a very good gin, okay, um, I love English gin, and that's what I'm going to get into in a minute, 
most gin comes from England or the United Kingdom. Um, not a lot of people make gin. It's not really an easy liquor to make. Um, as far as when I say that, as far as staying true to what a gin should be. Okay, it takes time to create something like this. So I got this Hendrix Gin. I'm really excited about this. This is a pint bottle and it's a very good piece to my collection because I was able to get it for a nice price. I mean out here um, this is about, I don't know, 40 to 50 bucks. I was able to get this for about 30 bucks. Okay. Definitely a nice piece to add to my liquor collection. And the next one I'm going to show you is and I'm probably going to beat this up, but this is the Glen Lizard 12. This is also from Scotland. This is a Scottish malt whiskey. And if you see the 12, uh, basically this company ages all their whiskey. So when you're drinking it, you're not drinking something that's a year old or, you know, it's, it's 12 years old. Um, and it's very, very unique, has a very unique flavor. <laughs> and you got to be careful with it but it is very good and I'm very happy to have this for my collection. There's another um, whiskey that also does this, something like this. And basically, basically it comes in, um, you know, different ages. So there's different whiskeys that are, you know, it could go from 12 to 24. Um, and I guess the color determines that. So I'm looking for that right now. Um, but I'm very happy to have this uh, Livet whiskey in my collection. I know I have a lot of whiskeys. Uh, but most of them are, are American, <coughs> so um, I went ahead and got this this Scottish whiskey. And now, just to uh, complete the uh, UK connection, I was very excited to get this bottle. It don't really come in anything other than fifth and up, so when I saw it, I had to get it, and it looks like a flask. But it's not a flask. Once again, this is a tonic bottle. Okay, it would be the same thing as a, a tonic bottle was sold for some type of medicine. Okay, and the way you can tell that uh, if you're doing this to do a collection and you don't want flask is that at the back of a bottle it'll be concaved. Okay, and uh, a tonic bottle will not be concaved. Okay, and this here, you see, it's not concaved, but this is. Irish whiskey and it's actually uh, by Conor McGregor um, and it is a very good whiskey um, I won't be drinking this one but <laughs> I probably won't be drinking at all for a while actually I, I, I kind of don't I'm not able to actually um, I can't really drink more than a shot anymore because of my health I am healed but in order for my body to continue healing, I have to very, you know, limit the uh, toxins that I put in it so that it can continue to heal. So there won't be any drinking for me. And I honestly, um, that's really not my lifestyle anymore. Um, so uh, not to shoot anybody down for drinking or nothing. I, I loved drinking. Uh, I mean, I, there is a such thing as, like I said, abuse and stuff like that. So I'm definitely against all that. And I was an abuser at one time. But <clears throat> I was able to get that under control, not by my own power, but uh, for the most part, look, it's, it's just liquor. It's part of, it's been here forever. And um, unless you're living some type of lifestyle where people are going to look at you, you know, uh, different because you're supposed to be representing a certain type of uh, lifestyle, you know, um, I really don't see the point, I mean, the problem with it. Okay, as long as you're not going to be a drunkard to where you're, you know, one of those angry drunks or, you know, so on and so forth. I mean, it happens sometimes, you know what I mean? Everybody can't get drunk as hell and that happened. But for the most part, you know, the, I don't really see the problem with this. This is something that we've learned to do. And alcohol does and can help you medicinally if used properly. Okay, you would have to go ahead and look all that up. I am not a doctor, okay? But I know, do know that you can use this on cuts you know what I mean and certain things uh, even I don't know if you've ever heard of hot toddies um, when you had a cold and you would put it in it they would put it in the tea and mix it together and what it did is it would kind of help you sleep with the medicine and then you know help you break a fever 
But like I said before, like the St. Bernard's, if someone was caught up in the cold, he had liquor inside that barrel around his neck. And what that did was kind of create some type of warmth for the person so they wouldn't die from frostbite or freezing to death. Okay, they might survive the uh, rescue home or wherever they were taking them. But this is Conor McGregor's whiskey. And, man, I'm telling you, um, a lot of these, these entertainers and uh, I wouldn't really call a... Uh, you know, Conor McGregor, of course, is not really an entertainer. Well, in a way, kind of, but, you know, athlete. Um, athletes and uh, that are getting into this, it's just cool to see it and see something different. And then them trying to bring a, a, a unique product and also a quality product. And, and that's what you see um, with a lot of this stuff. So these are my new additions to my pint collection. And I'm going to go ahead and get into what uh, I found uh, at my house. Um, and, but first I'm going to go ahead and go I don't really have a lot of this but I bought it uh, it's basically a beer and this beer I guess we'll really make the UK connection right now this beer right here and I don't know if you can kind of see that but this is Trooper Light Brigade and it is made by uh, Robinson who is one of the members of Iron Maiden so this is their beer Okay, and, and what's cool about this is, well, you can see the label and everything is cool by itself. Okay, but the main thing is that basically if you buy one of these bottles, okay, and this is from England, um, it basically helps the troops over there. Okay, part of the, the proceeds of, or the uh, revenue that they make off this beer uh, goes back to the uh, English uh, military, you know, to basically help, you know, people that have served in the military and probably more than that. I don't know really know the extent of it. You can go look it up. But it's just cool to see that Iron Maiden, you know, made this. And I don't know if they have any liquor. If they do, I'll definitely buy it. Um, I am in the rap game, but for you that really know who I am, know that, you know, from junior high school to high school, I was in the orchestra, the jazz band, marching band. So <clears throat> I love music. I don't care what genre it is, John, excuse me, genre it is. If it's good music, I love it. I don't care. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit here and hate on different genres or whatever like that because I, I like rock and roll. I like heavy metal. I love rap. You guys know that. I love hip hop, you know, because that inspired the whole rap thing because believe me, rap and hip hop are two different things, okay? Rap is like a branch from hip hop. And uh, you can see that, just like the down south, uh, 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 I don't even want to call it rap, it's just down south, you know what I mean, that southern style uh, hip hop rap, that's different, it's, it's its own thing, it, it, it sounds different, and that's what makes each genre unique, I like blues, okay, I like classical, class. I'm talking 20s and 1910 music, I love good music, I love Mozart and Beethoven, I love all that stuff. Because being in the orchestra, I had to learn to do a lot of these pieces. And I won't really get into my history with the orchestra. But let's just say that at, with the, at one time, and I played the cello, I was one of the best at my age, okay? Um, I had my chances. I, I screwed that up. Anybody out there, don't be embarrassed if you're doing that stuff. I would say keep doing it because if you join the Philharmonics or something like that, you can travel all over the world. Or you can go to any college you want to because everybody has a music program usually and every sport event needs live music. So, <clears throat> in saying that, it's just cool to see Iron Maiden did something like this. One of their members, I don't know if all the fa founding members did it, but I think it's, it's just one of them. Um, but it's just cool to see that. You know, you got Eddie up there on the horse, you know, with the little rip, rip and flag like he's at war or whatever, cutting people down. Totally cool. And this one's actually 4.1% alcohol. And it's gold. Alright, and now I'm going to go ahead and before I get into the Snoop Dogg stuff, I'm going to pull up this bottle right here. When I saw this, I said, what the heck is this? And who bought all this stuff? I ain't going to name drop, okay? But I can tell you that those bottles, <laughs> they came where they came from. Anyway, um, this was with it, and um, it probably came from that too. So I can tell now that uh, Mr. Dog, 
or Mr. Broadus, um, has very unique taste. Um, and you could already see that. You can see the way he carries himself, the way he dresses and all that. Guys got style. Usually in the, in the rap business, uh, that's really what it's about. Um, you know what I mean? You got to really look good and uh, be the part. But most of them already got that. So um, this is a Tangeray number 10. I have no idea what this is. Um, and it is from... I don't even know. Um, I believe it's an English gin. I got to look into it. Leave a comment down below if you know where Tangeray comes from. I haven't really done a big history from it. And be honest, if it wasn't for DJ Quick, most of us probably wouldn't even know about it. Because he's the one that basically made the song Tangeray and all that stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, he didn't really put it on the map, but for, for us in the uh, neighborhood, put it on the map for us. <laughs> Except for them that was already drinking it. Like I said, Mr. Quick is the one that uh, pretty much put Tangeray on the map when it came to, to the hood. And this is a very unique bottle. Look at that. It's got these, these ridges. Uh, normally, normally, it's like the other little pint bottle that I showed you. Don't have these river, uh, ridges. And um, this must be some good stuff. However, <laughs> I'm not going to drink it because it's in this unique bottle. Um, and I'm kind of getting scared because I feel like all of a sudden I'm going to get overwhelmed with all these fifth bottles. And of course, like I said, I can't. Really, I don't really know if uh, Forty Water does anything lower than the fifth. Okay, uh, for y'all don't know, that's that's basically Mr. Stevens or E40. Um, but I gotta get his. I gotta get his. And uh, like I said, The Rock and a lot of these other uh, entertainers, um, alcohol. So um, it's just funny. So I started with these pints and. Now all of a sudden I get a gold Hennessy and now I'm get, getting these other bottles. But let me go ahead and put this down and get to the other ones. Um, and before I even get to the next one, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull into this uh, this wine. And I'm laughing because I'm looking at the, <laughs> at the label on the, <laughs> on the wine and what it says. I'm going to go ahead and put this down and I'll pick up this uh, Snoop Dogg wine. Hold on. I'll give you the name of it and everything. So this Tangeray, as you can see, is de definitely unique. But I'm I'm happy to have it, and I'm definitely gonna put this in my collection. It's something that's not gonna get drank at all, unless someone sneaks and open it, and then there's gonna be a serious problem. Because I've already told nobody don't open my liquor. It's for a collection, and it's worthless if you open it. All right. So, <laughs> oh man. So at the top, so you see, this is Snoop Dogg's wine. Okay. Um, now I gotta go get E40. Like I said, he. He makes a wine, Earl Stevens, and uh, from what I hear, I haven't had any, but all his liquor is bomb. And I can't say nothing for this one. The other one I can, um, but right now, this is 19 Crimes is the name of it. <laughs> it's a unique name. That's why I was laughing. I was like, oh, man, this is my dog. Um, you know, for those of you know, and, and don't judge people, man. I'm serious, man, because you don't know what it's like being out there in the streets unless you've grown up in a ghetto or you've had it tough and, and sometimes you know um, people know that God has changed my life but when you don't know God you don't have that option and, and really the way life is for a lot of us especially as uh, black Americans and uh, 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 Spanish Americans and Asian Americans and you know the Irish, the Italians, you name it. We we had to basically beat down the doors of this country because, you know, we weren't given the opportunities that they were given because our captors, okay, or the conquerors, you know, they were running everything. And usually it, in those days, uh, and I'm not going to beat them up either, okay, because I be truly believe that you could put any of us in their place and we probably would have been just as ruthless, okay, because we're just that's just human nature. Um, but as you can see, we're starting to change as a whole. And give me a second, because I got a plane flying over. They love doing that shit when I'm recording. I think they should get a real plane. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, so, basically, so the name is unique but however like you know who everybody knows Snoop um, 
you know, he came from the streets. Uh, he did have some issues, you know what I mean? He did get caught up in some stuff. And then even got, wound up getting caught up some, with some stuff uh, later on, you know what I mean? After he was successful. So I guess that's a really unique and true name right there that you could say, hey, man, this guy uh, had a lot of issues, but he turned his whole life around. And look at him now. And you can look at a lot of them, like E-40 and uh, 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 a lot of uh, pretty much everybody from the concrete jungle over there in New York, man, and, and also, you know, other places, but, you know, just certain places, you know, like Houston and, and all these different places, uh, uh, Louisiana, Chicago, um, it's really tough in these cities, um, so so when we see somebody uh, 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 make it, uh, we should be happy for them, and we should definitely uh, look after the model, look what they did, uh, try to do the same thing, you know what I mean? But you got a foundation right there, and this man is definitely one of those, okay? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into his uh, other thing, okay? Now, hold on a second. Okay, so this is his line, and uh, like I said, uh, it's just good to see somebody else make it. Now, uh, like I said, I got to get E-40's wine now, um, and... Uh, definitely his other drinks. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this next one because I can say something about this one. And this is the Indigo. 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 I don't even know how to pronounce this, but I think it's Indigo even though when I'm reading it because I'm dyslexic. It looks like Indigo Go. Okay, but uh, this is Indigo. And, and this is basically Snoop Dogg's Gin. Now, eh, I'm trying to talk. Um, this is basically his gin. Now, what makes his gin, and I've had this, this, <laughs> I've never seen a flavor gin. This is strawberry gin. And like I said, I've never seen a flavor gin. And it's actually really good. It, it, <laughs> it tastes just like gin, but it has a hint of strawberry to it. And it is really good. Um, but I will not be opening this bottle either. But as I said, like, I don't, it just was at home. And I'm like, dang, dude, this is like, I guess I'm supposed to be doing these, these videos. Because now I got all this liquor. So, um, once again, I'm going to go ahead and leave it with that. You know what I mean? This is awesome to have in my collection. Um, I'm definitely going to have to get more. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to showing more. Uh, different bottles from different people, especially entertainers and sports people. Um, so go ahead if you want to leave a comment. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe, you know what I mean, and share this video. You know what I mean? If you're a true connoisseur of liquor. Uh, thank you again. This is Change, aka the Sarge. Salute. I'll see you later. Yeah.